So you want to make a scatter plot in pandas directly from your data frame. No problem. You can use df.plot.scatter to do this. Let's look at a few examples here. First thing that I'll do is I will import pandas as pd. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to import a data set. Now this data set is going to be a list of trees within San Francisco. And so this looks like a lot here, but what I'm doing is I'm going to import my data right here and I'm going to parse one of the columns as a date because I want to use this as a date later. And we actually know which date the tree was planted. So we're going to treat that as dates. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of feature engineering. So instead of the date that the tree is planted, I want to know how many years has it been since the tree was planted. And so I'm going to take today, I'm going to subtract the plant date, and I'm just going to divide it by a year. So that'll give me the number of years since it was planted. And then also we have species information for the trees. And what I'm going to do here is this is little feature engineering to extract the parent species instead of the subspecies to give ourselves just a, a little less groups here. Next, I'm going to take a subset of the data. I'm going to drop the, um, the NAs, and I'm just going to take a look at the head of the data. And that is wonderful. It's because I need to change the folders. Beautiful. So what we have here is we have a data point for every single tree in San Francisco. We have its latitude. We have its longitude. We have its plant years. And so this is how many years it's been since it was planted. And we have its parent species. And so in order to create just a default um, scatter plot, all we need to do is just pass an X and Y values. So in this case, I'm going to take my data frame, I'm going to call dot plot, and then call dot scatter, and I'm going to specify X and Y. Now, what's cool about this is when you call it directly from your data frame, you don't need to pass in a series of values. All you need to do is just list out a column name. So in this case, I'm listing out my X, it'll be longitude, my Y will be latitude, and then I'm also including just a little bit of a Y limit here in order to format the data a little bit. But depending on your data, you may not have to do this. I'll go ahead and run this. And as you can see, I get a big blob that kind of looks like San Francisco. Here, this white band is gonna be Golden Gate Park. We have the Presidio up here. And this is a good start, but it's not really exactly what I'm looking for. What I wanna do is I wanna make these dots just a little bit smaller so that they don't all kind of blob together. Now, in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the same exact scatter plot as beforehand, except this time I'm going to specify a size. And size is denoted by the S variable. And I'm not sure what the default sizes are, but in this case, we're going to change it from the default, which is this kind of you know fat dot up here. We're going to change it to 0 0.05. Beautiful. So what you see that we start to get here is now these dots are smaller and you can actually see the street starts to pop out in San Francisco, which is awesome to see. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to um, change the size of these different dots. And so right now all the dots are the exact same size and they're 0 0.05 because you specified it with a single number here. However, what you can do is you can actually pass a series of values that you want your size to be. And all of a sudden your dots are going to be different um, sizes depending on their attributes. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually in the size parameter, I'm going to pass plant years. So this means that the longer ago, the, the older the plant is, the more years ago it was planted. And so the higher number of years it was, and I'm actually going to do just a little bit of call it, um, engineering on this series value here to make sure that the numbers really pop for us. Go ahead and run this. And I should say that I've also zoomed in on a specific area. So this is one specific part of San Francisco. And I have some big dots right here denoting trees that were planted a long time ago. And I have really small dots right here for um, newly planted trees. So this goes to show that you can have different sized uh, dots on here. Now, the other thing that most folks like to do is they like to actually have different colors for their scatter plot points. Now, in order to do this, I'm actually going to utilize the help of matplotlib, which is another library, and also NumPy to get some random numbers. And I'm first going to import my packages. I'm going to set a random seed for NumPy. And now, if you're trying to follow along here, make sure you set the random seed to 30, because then you'll get the exact same random numbers as I do. And I'm going to get a color map. And you can think of a color map as just kind of a, a spectrum of colors that you can then pull out from later. I'll go ahead and run this. Nothing is going to return to us. Nothing really happens. And then I'm going to create a dictionary. Now this dictionary is going to be uh, actually a pandas series. And I'm going to go through each of the different parent species that we have 
and associate a color with them. Now, I'm not gonna show the output here, but if you'd like to dig into this, I encourage you to download the code and try it out for yourself to see what's going on. I'll go ahead and run that. And then I'm gonna merge that dictionary right back onto my data frame that I was just, merge that dictionary right back onto my data frame using pandas merge. Go ahead and do that. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna plot my scatter one more time, except I'm gonna specify the color that I want each of my dots to be. And the way I'm gonna do that is by specifying the C equals, and then I'm gonna set it to the color that I just set it within my dictionary, or within my data frame based off of what species the tree was. I'll go ahead and run this. And look how awesome that is. Now each species of tree is colored uh, differently from the other ones. So you can see little pockets of purple right here, which is awesome to see. You can see kind of a streak of red, which is cool. And so you can start to see how these different neighborhoods have different uh, pockets of these tree species. Now, what's cool about Panda's uh, scatter is you can actually utilize the general map plot, no, the general Panda's plot parameters. And there's a whole lot more listed than just on the scatter documentation. And I'm gonna go over a few here to show our final chart that we're gonna do. So here we have the original things that I've already put in, the X, Y, the Y lin, the size and the color. But I'm also gonna specify the fig size. And this is how big your chart is gonna be. I'm gonna give my chart a title, trees in San Francisco. I'm gonna give my chart or my X label a title, which is gonna be longitude, and then my Y label a title, which will be latitude. And these are um, more customizations to make your chart exactly how you want it to be. Go ahead and run this. And here we go. So not only is my chart bigger, but now I have longitude, latitude, uh, latitude and I have my title here. So that is how you make a scatter plot right on top of your data frame using pandas.